Concerns have again been raised about the impact of excessive screen time on Australian children's reading, writing and ability to concentrate in school. As the school year begins, parents are being encouraged to share screen time with their kids as a way to limit their children's time with technology. I spoke to Dr Joanne Orlando, leading expert in children and technology from Western Sydney University, a short time ago. So children spend on average in a school year or a school day around two and a half hours on their phone or on technology and that's outside of school. But in those school holidays they could be spending around eight hours on technology, particularly if they're at home, uh, parents are working, they're teenagers and there's not a lot happening. That's where they get their main source of entertainment. So it could be really tricky pulling back. They'll be wanting to check their phone during the school day. After school they'll be on their phone straight away, probably right through until the night. Um, and then it's going to take a few weeks into the school year before they've adjusted. So this is a, quite a transitionary time right now. And also a lot of them would have gotten a new phone uh, for Christmas or as they enter perhaps high school, that's typically the time when uh, a child will receive a new phone. How difficult can that be in terms of, of knowing when to be on the phone and, and when to switch off from it? Yeah, that's right. I'm doing some research at the moment and particularly around that year seven time when children go into high school, not only might they get a new phone, but they also might get a new laptop or a new tablet for school. So they potentially could get two brand new devices in the last few weeks. So it can be tricky. One is that because the, those are their devices now, so potentially they could be using them 24-7, you know, if they were allowed. And two, it's about juggling between their new device, their home uh, life, their home devices. So it's about learning a lot of new rules. It's about a bit of restraint because, you know, when you get a new toy, you just want to go on there and play with it. So there's a lot of conversations that need to be had with parents um, around new rules around these new devices. Devices. What are some of the tips for parents? Uh, you know, you, you hear about parents that just go for the, I'm going to confiscate my child's phone. Does that work? Mm, it can in a in a short term, it can work. Parents use that uh, strategy, particularly if children are misbehaving. They'll say, right, I'm going to take your phone off you or right, I'm going to take your device off you. And a child will always react because, you know, their phone is their lifeline. But in the longer term, my research shows there's a lot of implications. One is that children will start to hide uh, their behaviour for fear of getting in trouble and having their phone taken off them. So parents have to be really careful about using that as a strategy to manage children's behaviour. On average in Australia, how do children here fare in terms of their screen time as opposed to, to children around the world? Yeah, well, we're definitely up there. We love our technology. Uh, that's children and adults. So UK, they have the most prolific users of technology by children. So they're way up there. UK children are using technology a lot. We're coming third in the world. So we are also up there. Our screen time is a bit through the roof, really. And what about uh, parents themselves? Is there such thing as, as parents' guilt for, for letting their kids spend so much time on the computer or, or playing video games on their phones, etc.? Yeah, I think there's always parent guilt around everything, but particularly around technology. So parents are kind of quite divided in this. It's a bit of a push-pull thing. They like it because technology, when their children are on their devices, it gives them a bit of time at home, a bit of quiet time. Plus, they know it's really important to have good tech skills as a child because it will really set them up well for life. But on the other hand, they feel guilty as well when their children are on devices too much. They worry about it in terms of a health aspect, in terms of social skills and their child just getting out with their friends and playing, and in terms of things like eyes, neck strain, those things. So it's uh, this weighing scales, really. It's love and hate from a parent's perspective. It's certainly very, very difficult. Uh, what about, can parents perhaps share screen time with their children? Is that a, is that a way to, to minimise just solely the child on their phone all the time? Yeah, look, I think that's a great strategy. Often when I go into homes and I do my research, I'll see the kids on their devices by themselves, the parents on their devices by themselves. 
and there's not a lot of talk or a lot of shared activity going on, particularly between the parents and the children. So I think having some things that you do together online is a great way just to share that digital space together. So it could be, you know, watching a movie, it could be having a Pinterest chart, it could be playing a game together, anything that stops that complete separation between adults and children online and starts to bring the family together. That's a good thing. And as we were talking about kids now back to school, how can they balance good screen time uh, with their other activities? Yeah, I think um, the best way to approach it is there's kind of pain points from both ends. Parents, you know, they have things that they want their child to do on their device, but there's also concerns. And children have things that they want to do on their device, and there's also concerns. And often there's a lot of not much communication about these between parents and, and children. So I think the best thing to do is to have an initial conversation around now talking about that and making a plan together and making some decisions together because it really helps to stop all the stress and arguments that we keep seeing in families homes and it's not a set and forget thing it's something that you revisit regularly make sure it's working for both of you so it creates more of a win-win kind of screen time solution at home certainly a tricky world to navigate dr joanne orlando appreciate your time thank you for joining me thank you